The Platinum SE models are at the top of Princecraft's lineup, and they range from 17 to 22 feet. And this 18 is one of the most popular. They come loaded with all the fishing amenities you can possibly imagine, with a few new ones for 2020. Let's slow down and take a closer look. First of all, the paint is all new. And if you look really close, you can see tiny little metal flakes that are nearly invisible until the sun comes out. Princecraft uses durable urethane paints and has always taken care in styling and design. This Platinum SE has a black waterline stripe with dark metallic gray hull sides, an angular graphic, and huge 3D chrome Princecraft logos. The result is a dark, almost menacing appearance that is somewhat enhanced by the Pro XS. Inside, we find a revised cockpit layout, minus the center bulge previously found in the middle of the aft casting platform. The primary rod locker is in the floor, where the ACS system provides airflow to your gear. It's a bit further to reach, but that airflow will help dry out damp reels. Combing storage compartments to either side can also hold seven-foot rods, or in this case, all of the Bimini canvas. The aft casting platform is elevated. It's a little bit high, but it is very big. And to get maximum casting space, they've changed the ladder in the back to be a telescoping stainless ladder, a little platform above it. The platform is covered in marine-grade vinyl for a positive grip and easy cleaning. Hatches are flush with the deck, as are the jump seats. The washdown system is optional and has a low-profile cover that is almost flush with the deck. The 186 has two live wells, both 64 liters. Both live wells have intermittent recirculation, so you're not running the pump continuously. And I really like that they both have remote through-hull drains, so you don't have to get your hands wet when you want to drain them. That is awesome on a cold day. There are rumble seats to both sides, but something truly unique to a fishing boat like this is a pop-up privacy enclosure with a pumpable head. For those of you that drink their coffee in the morning by the gallon, this could come in really handy. And just in front of the head, we can see the nearly invisible quick drains in the deck, a great feature that is becoming more common on newer boats. The helm console is new and features anti-glare surfaces with high contrast silver inserts. But what I really like, the Simrad Go 7 above the wheel is standard equipment. This seven inch multifunction screen includes vessel view digital instrumentation, GPS, and sonar with down scan imaging. You can add a second Simrad like this NSS Evo 3 to the right of the wheel for secondary screen views without having to awkwardly change screens while underway. Also standard is the heated driver's seat, a welcome addition on any chilly morning and available as an option for the passenger. The passenger console shares the same black on silver theme and cargo netting, but adds a large storage drawer below. All lights on the Platinum SE are LED, saving as much battery capacity as possible for your electronics and stereo. A small step up between the consoles eases access to the bow and holds the deep cycle batteries, positioning them closer to the trolling motor for efficient wiring, but not so far forward as to upset the handling of the boat. Forward, we find optional bow cushions that transform the raised casting platform into a big sun pad. Under the cushions, we find the second live well, anchor locker, Plano box storage for easy access while trolling, a handy forward trim switch, and an insulated ice chest to starboard. Netting to either side allows you to stow loose items with an easy reach. One of the advantages of a 36-volt trolling motor is thrust, and this Minn Kota Tarova produces over 110 pounds of it. With the 150, we found time to plane was under three and a half seconds, and if trimmed just right, we could almost touch 50 with the 150 Pro XS. There are three engines available for this model. The 150 XL is at the bottom, We've got a 150 Pro XS, and if you can, there's a limited V6 175 Pro XS. But honestly, with the speeds we're getting today, I think the 150 Pro XS is perfect. What I love the most about this boat is the hull. This double reverse chine hull is unbelievable at handling and acceleration. It pops out of the water really fast, but when you go to make a turn, you hardly have to trim the engine down. Now, that may be in part because we've got a stainless prop on this 150 Pro XS, but I'm telling you, this hull bites. No matter how hard I pushed, I could not get the boat to slide or ventilate. 
Honestly, this double reverse chine haul is a game changer. If you fish on bigger lakes, you will inevitably run choppy water. The 17 degree dead rise helps calm the ride, while the 0.110 gauge insulated bottom provides that solid, quiet ride we've come to expect from Princecraft. It's great to have so many trolling motor options, and this Tarova is a big one, 36 volt with 100 pounds of thrust. The downside is it's big enough to block my view a little bit, but not a problem. The Princecraft just pulled the seat down. Now I'm right up over top of it. I can see no problem. I also absolutely love this windshield. It is offering so much wind protection that you could be warm in this boat well into the shoulder season. And of course, the design is well integrated to the rest of the boat. And with this kind of glass, you're getting very little distortion no matter where you look. And the windshield is now a frameless design, adding to the already sophisticated styling. And the center walkthrough even has a friction hinge to prevent the window from slamming. It's difficult to find anything missing that's not on the options list. I might add a kicker, and I would for sure add the ski toe, but that's about it. Princecraft has really done their homework on the Platinum SE. When you add everything together, you end up with a boat that is more than just a premium model. You end up with something you can truly be proud to own.